Tired of all the Austin traffic? Well, commuters could soon be flying through the air. <laughs> right now, transportation leaders with the Capital Area Metropolitan Planning Organization are hearing a presentation on gondolas in Central Texas. Designers say it's a cheap way to get people off the streets and moving fast. Our Josh Hinkle has more. Downtown traffic got you down? Try looking up. The air might have an advantage when it comes to congestion, and Austin could soon be going the way of the gondola. I'm pretty adventurous, so I think I would do it. <laughs> Probably not. Scared of heights. The small shuttles hang on a cable, travel around 15 miles per hour, and hold four to six people each. Plus, Frog Design, the Austin company behind the project, says they arrive and leave every two seconds. I like my personal space, and I don't like a schedule. I can just imagine riding my bike up, walking right onto the thing, off, off, ride my bike back to location. Right now, it's still a vision with plenty of challenges. First, the name. They learned quickly to call it the wire, as the word gondola often puts this in people's minds. If I lived in Venice, if I had water to get to work, I might, I might consider it. They say the next step is the wire winning over big players in Central Texas transportation and finding a future for itself in Austin's culture. Austin's supposed to be a healthy place. Uh, why not live healthy? Josh Inkle, KXAN News. Frog Design says the cost of construction pays off. Gondolas range between three and twelve million dollars per mile. Compare that to thirty-five million per mile for surface rail and around four hundred million per mile for subways. Designers are presenting the proposal to Campo tonight. They've already spoken with the city of Round Rock. Beyond downtown Austin, the group uh, sees potential for a longer commute, maybe something down I-35, or even transit to and from an area like the airport.